guys, this is Greg coming to you with a little video review, video response of a tobacco review for uh, my entry to Eric's Random World's 300 subs contest. Eric wanted us to uh, review a tobacco from our local tobacconist if we had one, which I don't. Well, actually I do. It's about 20 minutes away, but he only carries about four tens, 12 volts, and they're all, they are all, um, all Tadas brands, and, and none of them are very, only one, there's one that's fairly appealing, but the caveat was, if we don't have a local, local blend, that we, uh, review something we'd never smoked before, so, to that end, I have a cob full of McClellan's Captain Cool. Now, I obtained a few grams of this from the Box Pass, the Tobacco Pipe Collectors Forums Box Pass. And so this is about, this is the last of it. And it's about my fourth bowl, I'd say. I've smoked it, uh, yeah, I smoked one bowl in a Legend Cobb. And I had a bowl in my little pearwood, Mr. Brog. And I had a bowl in a briar pipe, a newer briar, briar pipe that's not broken in very well. And then the last bowl here in my country gentleman. Now I have to say that it smokes best, in my opinion, in the cob. It smoked real well also in the uh, pearwood. But the briar, which like I said, is not, not not as well broken in, it's a newer one, it wasn't as good in it. The, uh, the McClellan Company, they bill this as a premium aromatic, and I would tend to agree with them, because it, uh, you do taste the tobacco in it, it's not all just sweetness and goo, um, and it burns really well. I've uh, not had any problems with it. It takes a charring light, even even slightly moist. Uh, it takes a charring light well. It takes a true light well. You don't have to fiddle and fool with it a ton. The, uh, I don't really have any trouble with getting any bite, tongue bite. It's, uh, like I said, mine came in a, in a box pass. And, so I can't really tell you if it came out of the tin too dry or, I mean, too wet. This was about perfect the way it came to me. Uh, it's supposed to be a vanilla mint. And I, I totally get that. Uh, when you first light it, there's a nice sweetness and a light vanilla on the charring light. Now, once you get the bowl bark going, the vanilla... Uh, is what you taste most. You, you do get the tobacco, you do get a nice kind of a burly Cavendish type of flavor going on. Uh, and you get the vanilla real well. And the mint is just very subtly there. Uh, if you, now if you get going too, puffing too fast and too hard, you'll miss the, you'll miss the mint. Completely miss it because I, I did it at first. But as long as you're smoking at a nice leisurely pace, an enjoyable pace, not going too hot. It's there. I don't, it's not a peppermint. It would be closer to maybe a spearmint maybe, but it's a very nice light mint. Nice sweetness. I wouldn't call it a dessert smoke. It's not too sweet. And the flavor stays pretty consistent as long as you don't get it going too hot. Uh, let me see here. I need to tam. Hold on. There we go. I can't comment on the room note because I usually can't smell. When I'm smoking, I usually can't smell it. My son mentioned that it smelled good. My wife didn't complain the one time that <laughs> I was smoking it and she was around. So it's probably a pretty good room note because Generally, if she doesn't say anything, it's fine. If she does say something, it's, she doesn't like it. So,
I uh, I would say this is probably, and and you all may probably know, I'm not a real real big aromatic smoker. But when I'm around other folks or maybe we're out on the boat or whatever, I try to take into account who's going to be around and uh, you know get something that's not offensive to, to to the people I'm with, especially if it's my wife. <laughs> anyway. But I could, I could see this being more or less an all-day smoke every once in a while. You know, like if I was out on the boat all day, uh, we got a little pontoon boat. If I was out on, just a minute, buddy. If we, if we were out on the pontoon boat all day, I could see me smoking through two or three bowls of it. But not all day, every day. It just wouldn't work for me. Uh, it's too much of a... It's, it's too one-dimensional for, for my... Personally, but then again, for me, aromatics are, are not uh, terribly complex. Now, this that being said, this is better than than a lot of them. Uh, I have some. I've been trying some Petersons recently. That was the other one I was thinking about doing the review for for this. But it's really it's a sunset breeze, and it's a very to me very it's a one note wonder. Actually, there's two notes. It's supposed to be a uh, Hmm. What is that? Some sort of a, some sort of a coffee liqueur. I forget amaretto. And when you first light it, you get the amaretto, uh, but the amaretto goes away for me really quickly. Uh, and and there's just a little bit of a berry flavor, and it's hot. It smokes real hot. So I don't like the Peterson Sunset Breeze for me at all. Uh, matter of fact, I'm given what I've got left of it. I gave to my son. Uh, whereas this McClellan's, I, I can I can stand it. I I would actually purchase this. I wouldn't purchase the Petersons again. Well, it's about a little after eleven o'clock in the afternoon right now. I'm out here with my grandson playing on the porch before it gets too hot. It's going to get up heat index well over a hundred again today. So I thought I'd try to get out here and get this done while I had the opportunity before it gets so stinking hot that you can't stand to be around or be outside so uh, yeah definitely you can definitely tell the difference in what McClellan's premium line I can definitely tell the difference than uh, most of the Altadas or really a, about any other that I, I will definitely probably try some more of the uh, McClellan Ar Aromatics. But anyways, Eric, I hope this is uh, along the lines of what you were looking for. Congratulations on your 300 subs. I'm sure it's well above that by now. Good contest. I like uh, I like doing something different like this. Uh, this could, you know, I don't know if you plan on doing it, but you might make a playlist and add all these videos together and give everybody something to look at, uh, kind of help them along with the different brands or different blends rather but it's a good idea something a little bit different and something fun something enjoyable so I'm gonna wrap this up now thanks again for the contest congratulations again thanks for watching everybody God bless